you talk about how racism is a very natural phenomenon. We're all essentially racist, but what you're really saying is we're all tribal. We identify with other people who look like us and who behave like us and who agree to the same cultural indoctrination as us. And whether we have access to our prefrontal cortex or not really is the determining factor of if we are going to display an act of racism or if we're going to keep ourselves in check. Um, it's getting at this whole business that we're really, really automatic in distinguishing between us and thems. We, other primates do as well. It's incredibly automatic. You see them really like 10 month old kids already. We do it in a fraction of a second and it's always in the direction of someone who counts as a them. We're not very predisposed towards treating them nicely kind of thing. But at the same time, it's incredibly easy to manipulate us as to who counts as an us and a them. And you could change those categories in a flash of a second. You can shift those around and you say, well, are you left with the conclusion there that maybe some of these categories are more baked in there, that they're harder to get rid of? Race turns out to be one that is not very baked in there. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about human evolution, Races, I don't know, they're maybe 20, 30,000 years old, which is an eye blink in terms of hominin history. Um, and most of all, for 99% of human hunter-gatherer history, the nearest person you, the furthest person away you would meet in your life was somebody from three valleys over, someone who looked just like you. Nobody started encountering people of other races until, I don't know, colonialism got its start. And that's it. This is not a deeply ingrained thing. This one is, is surface, uh, surface deep, and it's totally easy to get people to switch from unconscious racial categorizations of people to switch them to different ones in a fraction of a second. That's when it's easy. The one that is totally in their big surprise is sex differences. Because that one's only, I don't know, a couple of billion years old instead of 20,000 years old. That one is much, much harder. Like, it is way easy when you switch, like, sports team uniforms for people to switch people from categorizing the players by race to categorizing them by team. Do the same thing with male and female players, and now you switch them around, and you can't break through that with simply putting different color jerseys on people. That one's the one that's really fundamentally in there. But racism amid all the reasons to be like unbelievably like despairing about it is it's really not deeply wired into us. And reflecting the fact that race is a biological phenomenon is, is a pretty flimsy concept anyway of that as sort of entities in and of themselves rather than being on biological continuous. So the bad news is we really quickly decide that there's thems out there and we don't like them and we're awful to them. We have all sorts of great cognitive ways of making it seem like we're much better people than they are. But the good thing is, you know, it's not that hard to change your categories or to change it in somebody else. And maybe what that means is like the goal is not to get rid of us theming, because I think that's kind of automatic. I think that's virtually inevitable in a social primate, but to at least get people to use more benign categories, like people who really, really don't like broccoli and people who do. Probably lot, not a lot of Earth's misery over the centuries have been caused by in-group, out-group differences about opinions about broccoli. Go build your view about the world and types of people as to whether or not people have more or less than six cavities, whether or not they, you know, find benign domains of doing that or just very objectively doing it between people who are nice and people who are crummy. And like, that's kind of a good thing if you can get people operating that way. And that usually makes for a better society. I don't think you can get rid of us, them dichotomies. Um, but I think we can defang them much more easily. 
than people normally assume. Thank you so much for watching. Just FYI, we post a new video almost every day, so make sure you comment and subscribe below so you don't miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're really gonna love this one as well. And if you ever wanna see a playlist of all of my podcasts or all of the plot twists or any other category of videos, you can find links to those in the description below.